the context of this video is all kinds of cool cap shit that we did in class. Um, the first movement that we did was a quiz sprinkler, which is this guy, which I was told everybody thought when I added that little trailer. The way that I taught you the movement was starting with the left hand in the back, you're going to go from the back point, or if you imagine a clock top down view, going from 6 o'clock to 12 o'clock in spin, going out to the side to your 9 o'clock in anti spin, coming back to 6 o'clock, and then resuming in, in anti spin, and then in spin. Anti and in. And then you might start with it short, but you'll notice I just released the toy and made it long. You'll want to use your core muscles, so this shouldn't be like this where it's all your arms. Use your body to turn with you, so you're turning your entire torso, torso all at once. And then extra credit, put your other arm here with it. Right hand. The right hand, in clockwise, you're going to go from the 12 o'clock point to the 6 o'clock point. Again, turn your torso. Then you're going to come to your 3 o'clock. Then you're going to come from your 3 o'clock to the back. That part is the anti -spin. So it's in spin, anti spin, in spin, anti spin. Remember, what we're doing is we're doing it over the arm for this particular combination. There's no point does it come under the arm. Extra credit, you can put the left arm into it like this. You can extend the arm. Extend the point, rather. And then when you're ready, you can put it together. When the left is in the back and the right is in the front, this is the in spin. Then it goes to the side, and then it, in the anti spin, and then it comes back to the starting point. So here it is at the of the and then front view again. Okay, three. Okay, next move. Okay, so the next move that we did was the opposite direction split time 3D cap, I think. We did this one? Is this one we did? Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is the front view. I wish I had music and dance it for you, which I think is a totally different experience. Um, okay, so the back view. Uh, okay, left hand. It does exactly what you did in terms of the anti spin in the last move where you come across the top. It's just that at this point you're going to use the zero point, break the plane, and then come down to the side plane. When you get to the front, break the plane again, and then come across the top. So it's creating a three dimensional version of the cap where you're moving the in-spin from here to the side plane, where the wheel plane What I try and do to get the back, uh, I got a lot of questions in the session, what do you get to, to get the back to look right? What I'm doing is as it's coming across the top here, I actually lift my shoulder, push my arm yeah. out towards, like, towards the back, and as I do that, it gives me an extra little second so that I can get my zero point a little bit cleaner and then break the eight. Sunoi is going to do uh, counterclockwise. So this is actually different than what you did in the last move because we did a clockwise sprinkler. We're going counterclockwise, so counterclockwise anti spin, front to side to back plane break, and front to side to back plane break. So the side side to back. Is, since you're not trying to get like a fluid motion. Okay, now to put it together. Start with your left back here, your right in the front. The right is going to start in counterclockwise. It's going to go across the top, while the left does the pendulum across the bottom. So bump, bump. Then you switch positions. The left one is now going to be going in clockwise. Then you take the right across the side, while the left is going across the top. And then repeat. Yeah, just for the film. So it's always going Now, what I also like to do stylistically is bend away from it. It also makes it a little bit safer. Like you'll notice as it's, as it's coming this way, I bend my body this way, so it's creating more space for the, between my face. But I also I think it looks like for the camera. I think stylistically it creates dimension or for you guys. Right? Okay, so what was next? <laughs> what did I teach after that? The behind the back half. Okay. So we did the opposite direction behind the back. I think we did this one where we start an underhand butterfly up front, bring it to the back. So extension down to the bottom and now test it up. Uh, the tip that I gave for this one is to focus on your latissimus dorsi muscles, engaging them so that you can pull your shoulder blade in toward your spine.
spine. While you're doing this, you still want to keep your core tight so that you're not doing that. You want to protect, you want to protect your lower back. So you really want to keep yourself engaged in the core area while you're doing this. Get a nice feeling with the movement. And then this is the other version of it where you're starting an overhand butterfly in the front, bringing it to the back wing. Then we ended up doing, uh, I think we did the, oh, wait, we did this one with the. Okay, so all you do is you're starting in a side plane, overhand, same direction, cap. You're going to pick one hand that's going to do the extension all the way through. So I'm going to use the left hand to do the extension, like this. And what happens is both points meet at the top right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. So that's what the left doing the extension. You go back to the cap and learn the right doing the extension. Like this. So it's at the bottom of the turn where you push it into the extension and they meet again at the top. And then you're alternating. So what I gave you guys, which I think was probably most helpful to everybody, was the actual Poilates drill, the, the hand drill for it. So um, starting here, I'll go in slow motion. They both come down. The left hand comes back as the right hand comes front, and then they both come up. They both come down, left goes back as right goes front, and they both go up. So this is with the left hand doing the extension. And you really want to drill it like this until you can drill it like this, which is much more like how you're actually going to be doing it. Then do the other side. So they both come down. The right one goes back while the left one goes front, and then they both come down. The right one goes back. They both meet at the top, and when they meet there, and this is the split over point where the right one has to do the extension. Then to do the alternating one, and this is the trick. So we're going to do left extension and right, <coughs> and left extension and right. I find that moving my legs really helps me a lot, so that I can actually open the hip, which helps get the extension cleaner. So here's how it looks. And then one's being passed. Or if I'm down, like this. Yeah. Um, okay, then we did the other hybrid. We, oh, I forgot about that. Oh, good memory. Okay. Um, wait. So we worked on the opposite direction. Yes, opposite direction split time, side plane cap with the stall reversal. So this guy. So what's necessary in order to do that first, you have to be able to do the Jedi stall, like just, just this thing. Okay, if you can't do that, you can't do the combination. So uh, learn that first. Then you have to learn also the two different caps, where the right hand is overhand and the left hand is underhand. This guy. And then you have to know the other one, where the left hand is overhand and the right hand is underhand, like this. Then, what you're doing is, when you, to put it together, what you do is, I'll do each hand individually, you go top to bottom, okay, then you're gonna do the anti-spin back up and then stall in a drop stall. The reverse direction, they go top to bottom in anti-spin and then stall to reverse. Anti-spin, stall, anti-spin, stall, anti-spin, stall, anti-spin, stall. Anti spin, stall. Same thing with the left hand, it's just the other direction. So anti spin, stall. Anti spin, stall. Anti spin, stall. Anti spin, stall. Then put the two together. You're replacing the extension with a stall. No, he bottom somewhere. Somebody else So instead of staying in that extension there, you replace it with a stall. Replace that one with a stall. Replace that one with a stall. Now, that was all a precursor to our attempts at doing um, this guy. Where you're taking it and you're adding the swivel in the middle. So, actually, I think the one we did before was actually overhand, which is not what I just did. So it's this one. So what you want to maybe start with is being able to do this opposite direction. What are you doing? Opposite direction of long arm butterfly or uh, butterfly extension, and then going from here and turning into the cap, going back to the front and turning into the cap here, going back to the front and turn so cap and.
then you eliminate the butterfly. You eliminate your butterfly. Then you can start adding, uh, then you can start doing it where you add the stalls in from the capital. Yes? Okay, and then uh, the last one we did was the opposite direction. together even though they're in opposite directions from each other from this point in the turn to here and then the right hand continues around like this so this is the this is the hand that's I saw on how to drink water. <laughs> actually, I should chug water for you at the end because it's actually hilarious. I chug, I do this thing and Errol says I sound like a well, an endless well. Because I chug it so It's definitely a good ending. <laughs> okay. Um, Time to watch you chug water. Which, oh. <laughs> okay, Errol, this is for you. Uh, this is for the amazing scene. Wait, I have to take a breath. Hold on. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that on the on the video. I expect so. <laughs> so it was loud. You're saying. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everybody. Thanks for playing. So, what you guys like? <laughs> <laughs>